Hello students, welcome to Hack of the Day Part 6. Now in the previous video, we had looked at how to write an encoder in Python. Now how about automating the whole process and writing a full-blown shellcode decoder in Python. Now this free video is sponsored by Security Tube Trainings. We have a ton of nice courses on Python scripting, iOS, Linux assembly, Wi-Fi, Metasploit and others. Please do have a look. Okay, so in the last video, we just came up with this extremely simple encoder which zors any shell code received over std in and converts them into a series of push so that then we wrote a decoder which can look at all of that decode it and then run it now in this video let's try and automate the whole process of creating the decoder uh, which we did in assembly language so i'm back in here and if you recall this was our encoder and just to give you a sample run we basically use msf venom and we piped the shell bind tcp code to our encoder now if you notice it basically went ahead and parroted it with nobs and converted it into a series of pushes right fantastic now after that we wrote decode.nasm and here we inserted all the pushes and then we wrote our little decoder stub in here which does the g-coding and then jumps to our shell code for execution now i just want you to look at a couple of things in here if you notice we have these bunch of pushes now this would change every time the input shell code changes right so if we use uh, a reverse tcp shell generated by metasploit this part would change totally now based on the size of this shell code what we move into the ecx register would change as well right the length of the shell code divided by four is what needs to move here and then finally depending on what we want to zor with this value would change now apart from these three things if you look at it pretty much everything else remains the same regardless of what is the shell code which we are going ahead and pasting in so why not automate the whole process how do you do that so let me copy decode.nasm let's say to temp.nasm let me open up temp.nasm and I could just delete all of this so what I'm trying to do is create a simple template to understand how the code needs to be created in Python let me just put the value here as 41, 42, 43, 44, right? And CX, which is the counter in here. Uh, let's use the value. CL, mm -mm -mm. let's use, let's actually keep it as 20, which would be 14 in hex, and then you have all these, right? object dump okay hmm so if you look at the op code in here uh, this gives us an idea about what we need to do right 68 is basically for the push and then after that we reverse the order of 41 42 43 44 and we have all of this b1 needs to be followed by the length of the shell code divided by 4 which is actually 20 here uh, 14 in hex and then we have bb followed by 
the character which we need to use for our ZOR which is 4 times AA. Fantastic. Everything else pretty much remains the same. So now let me use our quick shortcut. look at the final shell code right so what is it that we need to do we need to create first a series of pushes like this let me open up new tab I'll show you how I've written the decoder I was a bit tired because of a lot of travel today so I've already written the code this is exactly like how the encoder looks like we're just changing a bunch of things in here right so if you look at the shell code, right. at first what you really have is all the pushes going in, right? So this would be 68 followed by the data you want to push in reverse order. And this is exactly what I'm doing in here. 68 followed by the data in reverse order. After that, you basically have this part in here moving up up to CL which remains as is right immaterial of what the input shell code is which is 89 E6 31 C9 B1 and 14 right B1 up to of course now 14 is really the length of the decoding we want to do uh, in hex now what I've basically done is I've gone ahead, taken the length of shell code, divided it by 4 and placed that in here. This is exactly what we want in the place of 14. After that you have BB followed by the character we use for the ZOR. Uh, that's actually there 4 times. So here is what I've done in here. This is BB plus 4 into and then basically whatever character we define here for the ZOR. And as you can clearly see, rest of this stuff remains the same. So I pretty much left it as is, right? Now here is the beauty, uh, is decoder.py can now pretty much work with uh, any piece of shell code you want to throw at it. So here it is, msf venom. we already have decoder.py set up. So the output you get right now is with all the decoder stub and everything put in. So you could just copy this out. Store it inside shellcode.c. Run it. Looks like it is running. Shell bind TCP would mean it's listening on port 4444, let's use netcat. So that's pretty much all we have for this video. Comments and feedback welcome. And if you have any other version of the same script, you can put it up on paste bin and let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.